It is time now for Ask the Expert. Each February, the American Dental Association sponsors National Children's Dental Health Month to raise awareness about the importance of oral health. So joining us live this afternoon, Dr. Donald Gunlock from Dental Associates. Appreciate you being here. So let's talk a bit about this. How do you familiarize babies and toddlers with dental care? So you want to start early and uh, you want to set a good example. Uh, you know, when the babies should be getting their first teeth right around six months old, you want to use a washcloth or a piece of gauze like we have here. Okay. Uh, you can also use a small toothbrush. Uh, all those things, you want to start early so they get used to it. So and you're just kind of wiping their teeth with the gauze? Off, or right, right. The plaque doesn't take much to get off. You can really wipe it off, like I said, with the gauze. You don't have to get in there and scrub it real hard or anything like that. And you just want to wipe it off after every time they eat or feed or nurse. So as they get older, you just maybe brush together so they see what you're doing? Right. So you want to, what I use as a gauge is if your child's able to tie their shoes very well, then they're probably able to brush on oh, their own. You want to okay. use that dexterity. So that's a little trick that we tell, tell moms and dads of when they want to start brushing. So, so you have like cool brushes here. I mean, yes. they look like fun things that kids yes. will want to use. We've got use. the noise and the light up and the everything. Right. <laughs> so how long should they brush their teeth? So you want to do it for about two minutes. Really? Yeah, and there's all kinds of tricks with that. They do have a number of apps uh, that you have out there and all kinds of, not just toothpaste people make the apps, but uh, you know, people like Disney, they make apps for brushing. So they have something like to do for the two, two minutes. minutes. Right, you can play a song, oh, you know, okay. you can play a song for them. Some of the toothbrushes have the songs built in. So any of those things that get them for the two minutes and not really have to sit there and watch a clock. Okay. Because it, two minutes is an eternity when you're <laughs> right. trying to exactly. brush their teeth. It's, it's right. What about flossing? Yeah. My six-year-old does, my four-year-old's kind of like, you know, if he feels like it. Right, so it is, it's not an easy thing to do, but as some kids, uh, they don't need to because a lot of kids in the front, they have spaces in between those teeth. Right. Now, mo and so you know, there's no need to floss there. But some, most of the kids at the back, the molars are very important. Mm -hmm. And the enamel on the baby teeth is very thin and it's very easy to get decay. So if you're not flossing, that decay it can start very quickly on baby teeth. Yes. So what is the biggest concern when you talk to parents about, oh, my kid doesn't want to do it, they don't like it. What do you, how do you challenge them? So, you know, you just want, like I said, you want to set a good example. Give them some choices, uh, especially the younger you are, uh, they are to start off with, the better. Now, you don't want to take them. I went to Target today and they had 40 toothbrushes there. <laughs> and I was, I was like a two or three year old right. would be overwhelmed with that. So yep. buy two or three like we have here yep. and let them pick out. And then that way, too, if you have two or three, if they've got two favorites, you can say, well, I'll take this one for now and in three months we'll start using right. this one. Yeah. Good That's information. Good to do. Appreciate yes. that. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaysteamj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We do have the number right there for you.